What's going on guys? Jake aka Rattled RC from Quadworks. Little plug here. FPV earbuds. Check us out, quadworks.com. Anyway, I'm gonna do a install video with the new M7 gimbals. Oh that butter. This things should be going in pretty easy, just one plug on them. We got the QX7, we're ready to go. Shout out to the guys at rcpapa.com. They got us in here, and they got them here quick, man. They were stupid fast getting these things to us. And, uh, yeah, give them a quick little shout out. Um, also, of course, you got Heli Nation. Check those guys out. They do, uh, they do some awesome deals over there all the time. First thing I want you guys to pay attention to when you're taking this case apart here down here you've got your battery connector and that's connected right here so when you go pulling this back plate off of there you can't go yanking on it uh, the other thing to take note of on these QX7's right down in here you've got this little slot well these pins will go through that slot so when it goes back together just make sure you're paying attention so you don't smash those pins and you get Get yourself a mess. The other thing to take note of when these gimbals go in place, these sensors here are going to end up in the same place. However, your tension straps are going to be opposite of what they are now. Pretty cut and dry, uh, nice easy install. There's going to be four screws to take the gimbals itself out, and then one screw here to take the band off so you can get it at this plug unplug this one slider out slide your new one down in there plug it in you're good to go now they come pre-sprung and in order to unlock that or let it free wheel free wheel if you will there's a little, one little machine screw that comes in the screw pack in the box here <clears throat> you'll just take that lift this tension bar can't really see it with my hands in the way sorry about that and it'll thread right down into this hole here I'll do that real quick with this one now you don't want to thread it from the inside out well I suppose you could thread it either way from the outside and inside out Whichever way you prefer, you just want to make sure that when you get it threaded, that screw is going to set right here in this cradle. So we'll go just a bit deeper with it. That'll work. That'll stay locked in place. Now you've got freewheeling. Now, of course, because you had the spring tension on there, there's actually no band tension. So we'll take this band tension and just turn this screw here. We'll turn it in a bit. until you get the proper or your desired tension on there that feels pretty good I'll give her just another little turn there yeah, that feels good alright we'll get to it fast forward through this part for you guys and um, you don't need to see me taking a bunch of screws out and whatnot and we'll get them both installed and we'll come back in a few
All right, here's one thing we can pay attention to when we're putting this back in also. On these cords, you've got one side that has the two little tabs, and then on the other side, you've got all the tabs that hold each individual wire in place. When you're looking at these connectors here, you can see down this side, there's a cutout, and this applies to just about every single one of these connectors. That side with the cutout, is going to allow room for those snap tabs. I'll plug it in just like so. All right, save the life of the battery. I'm going to do the other one off camera, but it's exactly the same. Just make sure that you put your hall sensor up in the right orientation. This one you don't need to worry about locking out the spring tension because you're going to want that for your pitch and your roll. When you slide that down in there, it's going to go right down into place identical to the one that's in there already except for your tension bands will be on the other side now one thing I should point out quick though if you want to adjust the tension of the springs down inside this little hole there's a little cap screw that will run this block up and down when you run the screw in, it's going to loosen tension. When you run the screw out, it'll tighten, add tension, add spring tension. That's for, well, that'll be for your pitch axis. And for your roll axis, again for mode 2, it'll be this block here. Same thing. Set the Allen down in there, tightening it turning it clockwise will decrease tension and counterclockwise will add tension to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one off uh, installed off camera and I'll be back shortly. Charge the battery up and we'll get everything set up in the actual radio itself. Okay now we've got the gimbals installed and we can see here on the home screen and everything's working as it should. Up is up, down is down, left, right. Throttle, pit, er, uh, yaw. Now we want to go in and calibrate them. You do that, press and hold the center menu button. Once you're into the radio setup screen, you can press and hold page. And go back to the ninth of nine screens. And we're going to center everything here. Uh, press enter to start. Set sticks at the midpoint. Press enter. And you move all your sticks around. Be sure to hit all the corners, all the way up, all the way down. Make sure your pods are in the middle. And press enter, and that's it. Now you just need to go into your flight controller programming and make sure all of your endpoints are set correctly so that you're getting full stick deflection. And that's about all there is to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave comments below if you have any questions.